You know something, we're told about the lies that they told us, that you won't make it. You can't have that. You can't have that job. You can't have that house. You can't live in that neighborhood. You can't ride that bus just because you who you are. They don't want us to know of our rich history and that our ancestors practiced and exercised their self-determination. In order to control our minds, place us in boxes, and stop us from advancing forward as people of color. You are not allowed. Don't be an angry Latina. You are not allowed. Be more ladylike, well-mannered, soft-spoken. Be more ladylike. This is an oxymoron. Every day I'm a lady. <sighs> they don't want us to know that we, that our people, built the pyramids in Egypt and in Central America. They don't want us to know that we were doing just fine on our own. They don't want us to know, they don't want us to know that we made civilizations far beyond anyone's expectations, far beyond anyone's belief. And you know why? They took what we made just because they didn't have it. So my mother has told me not to go to school to work a union job. I have told her that I'm going to get into the tech field one way or another. I am not going to work, I'm not going to break my back. I am not going to do any physical work. I have told her I'll, I have a creative mind just by growing up the way I did here. In, in the present moment, many of us are miseducated. Our minds are being shaped by the narrow message of mass media that has ulterior motive. That the status quo is God along with money. The power structures have told me that I am Asian American, female, and a model minority. They've already put me in convenient boxes and predetermined my options and experiences way before I could speak for myself and define my own individuality. Claire and Alley is one of the most visited alleyways in the world, viewed by millions of tourists, all from different countries. And in June of 2015, I did a mural called Kill Texilla, which is about gentrification, especially in San Francisco. It talks about tech entitlement, gentrification, and taking back what is yours. And when I did that, people would come up to me and they would ask me a lot of things, but one of the things they told, one of the things they told me, they told me how much they resonated with that mural, how much they felt with that mural. And this was people from Chicago, this is people from Korea, this is people from Mexico, France, Spain, Japan, all different places all over the world. And they all felt the same way. They felt gentrification was a bad thing and they felt what I felt, taking back what is yours. And when those people came by, it almost reminded me of San Francisco, how we're all seven by seven in this city, all of different races, different backgrounds, different heritages, and we all feel the same way. So I bridged that gap. I felt like I bridged the gap between all these races through art, because that's what art's main pr purpose is, is to bridge the gap through visual storytelling. My femininity is a gift. It gives me strength and beauty. See, it is in my vulnerability that I find the strength to unlock that door. I am an astronomer. I am a land cultivator, but most important, I am going to be That's it. <laughs> I'm going to be myself, and I am going to work in cybersecurity. I have found the power. I have unlocked the door, and I have embraced my full self. And now I'm free. That <laughs>